So now let's go through homework eight. And let's look at the dilemmas that we have, the exercise that you're expected to prove. And then let's contrast that with the exercise I wrote for, exer for lecture 24. So as you can see, the first two theorems, or the first four theorems, are very similar to actually the exercise structure that you will see um, for the exercise of lecture 24 which is to say you're expected to prove that a language is not decidable and you have to do so by using map reducibility and then you'll need to prove each case and for each case as you know you have to here are the two cases it's the last one two three four theorems is what you want to look at so you always have to simplify something and construct the other right simplify your assumption to be able to prove your goal and to be able to prove your goal use the constructor so as i step through it uh, we need to prove that atm from if i have w in atm then f of w is in halt tm and we use the inversion in the assumption first and then we break it down we simplify it and now we're ready there's nothing else we can simplify, right? We only have an apply there. So then the, the proof structure is to use uh, halt to def. Um, and of course, what you need to provide is what is missing. And what is missing is the equality. So what is the W match to? And here you will see what you should fill in in the parameters. And then basically what you have is in the first case, it really depends on what is the the thing you're building, right? Here you're building in a halt um a halt TM, a member of halt TM, whereas in your case you need to build it a member of ETM and then a member of EQTM. Right. So basically the two the two ex the two theorems one and two will match to two different to these two theorems one and two. So that takes care of, <clears throat> sorry, the first four. The first four. The second one, you're asked to prove exercise 5.6 in the book. So that is, this is in page two, 239. So if I, I am now in 236, 7, 8, 9. So 5.6 is asking you to show that the map reducible relation is a transitive relation and you notice that there's a little a here uh, and if you don't know this exercises with an a means they have an answer in the book so you're expected to go through the answer and the answer is given in page 242 so let's scroll that down there and here it is so you are asked to prove transitivity. So you assume you have A map reducible to B and B map reducible to C. That's exactly what you're being asked to prove, right? You have to show A map reducible to C. And I already give you the first uh, step of the proof, which is assuming you have F and G for map reducibility. And then you should use this proof to be able to complete the proof that you have here. So use what is in the solution to help guide you on how to solve this exercise. Okay, so the next one you're expected to do is exercise 5.7, where assuming A is uh, recognizable, this is already the proof, let's go back. If A is Turing recognizable, so if A is recognizable and A map reduces to a, the complement of A, then A is decidable. That's what you're expected to prove. So that's exactly what you have here. <coughs> Sorry. How do you solve this? Go to page 242. Page 242. And highlighted in blue is the solution. And basically you can use this theorem the, sol the, the solution to guide you to write this solution, sorry, the solution of uh, this exercise. Right? So next, what you're asked to do is prove exercise 522. 
So let's look at 522. Show that A is Turing recognizable if and only if A is map reducible to ATM. So that's what you're expected to prove. This one has no proof in the book, but I do give you the two sides. Um, they are not complicated. They're actually easy. And you have to prove each side uh, directly. And then this one just uses the two that were just proved. And finally, you have these two. So most exercises are easy. The only hard one is actually the last one. Um, so in this this one, actually the solution is just ser search on lang red. Um, red. Oops. Ignore this. Lang red. So if you go to um, Turing, if you open lang red reduction, you will see all the theorems that we've defined. And the ones you care about are the ones in starting line 300. So it's lining line 300, so you want to skip that. Basically from here downward, 360 downwards is what you want to look at. So these tell you what theorems you need or are available, right? And then you need to use one of these theorems to solve to show that um, that it, this is provable, okay? Sorry, to show that this is provable. That if something is not decidable and the complement is recognizable, then the complement is not recognizable. Finally, you have this exercise, and this one is not easy, but it is easy if you it is easy if you explore. I'm going to give you a PDF with all the theorems you need to be able to prove this theorem. And it's just a matter of trying to figure out how you derive it by applying the rules that we've learned in uh, today's lesson. So hopefully the PDF will kind of fill out the blanks that you may have. There's also another lesson that will kind of do a recap. And that lesson will help you understand, um, will give you a few more examples of how to prove um, theorems such as these. Okay, so I hope you have fun today.